Hi everyone, welcome to Steeple Street Music Academy. This behind me is our art studio where art classes take place. And I like to hang out personally because it's awesome and I can create some art, but I can also work on websites in a quiet space. I discovered that I absolutely love creating websites. It speaks to my visual spatial intelligence, the graphic design work that I've always loved to do. And I've kind of discovered that I'm a little bit of a tech geek, at least in very specific areas like building a website and social media. So what I'm gonna do for you today is kind of introduce you to who I am and how I build our website. I'm just gonna walk you through the back end here and you can see what it's all about. So I work on just a MacBook Air, and that seems to work fine for me. I don't know why, but they just have a certain intuitive way about them that I really just love. Here is the login page. And the hosting platform that we use here is InMotion Hosting, which I really love because there's also WordPress, which is basically a kind of toolbox to use geared toward blogging. But then there's also this bold grid thing, which I fell in love with, and I'm gonna show you how I do that here. This is the dashboard. It gives you some of the analytics if you wanna take a look at that. And what first needs to happen, which I did a long time ago, is customize the overall website. Customizing means that there's a theme that was picked out. So I already have picked out a theme. There's my little pop-up. I can also show you how I get that taken care of. But along the side, is where you put the site title, logo, colors, background, fonts, the menus where you want those to go, widgets, things like this song here. I set that up so it can be played while you're on the home page. And you can kind of see everything about the home page here, but you can't edit it on this particular uh, customization feature. It's just different things that you can do for the overall website. And this is where you publish it. One thing about customizing your website, it took me so long to figure out the theme, but when I did, it really clicked. And that's the first step. You wanna think about the vibe of, of who you are, what you want your business to convey, and sometimes the physical space as well, you can capture on your website. And there are a lot of different themes that you can look at. Some work better than others too. So it's, it's really just trial and error. And I can help you out with that and maybe make things happen a little bit quicker. It's possible that since I was going through the learning process around the same time I was starting this website, that that's the reason why it took me a little bit longer, but also having a proper theme that conveys your business accurately is super important. But I'm gonna go back to the dashboard because this is where most of the magic happens. Pages. This is where all the pages on the website are housed. And for the most part, what I like to do is have everything on the home page because it's just a lot easier to have everything housed on the home page. The problem with that though is you end up scrolling quite a bit. This homepage has all of these different things. What I had to do was create this link to a different part of the page. I wanted it to just jump to that part of the homepage so people didn't have to keep scrolling, 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 and trying to find what they needed to find because that can be really frustrating, right? When you click on these links, it'll take you to that section of the page. What's really important too is that when you are building these pages that you test out the page in reality, how it actually functions. This is the pop-up, which is pretty neat. I just learned how to do pop-ups. And that's like in your face, this is where I want you to go first. A lot of times people wanna to go to pricing and policies first. So this jumps right to pricing and policies where you can see the prices, how it breaks down. And then there's a button to inquire, which will take you to a separate form, a new student inquiry form. You can customize them however way you want to. I set it so it's a separate page, so someone can still go back to the home page and read up on different things, but still have that new student in Korea. So that's super helpful. And then of course, say there's a place that someone feels like donating. You can donate, become a patron, or we have this Raising the Bar program and the funds go directly towards student tuition. I have built in here a place that takes you directly to PayPal, which is kind of neat. And here we go, it says donate to, not to me, but the purpose is to Steeple Street Music Academy Raising the Bar. So you can set that up. Again, it's a new, window so you don't have to go back and it just stays open for as long as you want to. The other cool part that we have going on is Mashville that comes up every summer. And I try to keep the top page simple. You know, too many pages 
is daunting. People don't want to go to a lot of different pages. <laughs> I have a confession, you guys. I had no idea, really, how to build a website until I did this. It took me a while to get there. And I'm the type of person who just has to understand. Although I want to help build you a beautiful website, I want you to be able to walk away feeling like you can manage it with maybe me checking in every now and then. It's really, really important to be able to have a beautiful website because a lot of times right now, it's the one and only impression of your business that potential customers get. So why not make it the best that it can be? I really simplified it. Here's our social media links, really easy to get to. But Mashville is our songwriting competition. So this is another page where I have different sections and you can go to the various places. This is actually just a link to a Google Drive document about the rules and regulations. So you can do that too. And this goes to our Mashville coming up this summer. And then if you take a look here, this is a place to submit songs. This is another built-in form. And what's cool here is that you can add in files. So you can click or drag a file to this area to upload. This is where we have audio recordings that are uploaded and then the song lyrics and those go in. What's even cooler is this. The first song is $25. Say I want to submit two songs. It adds it up at the bottom here, total payment due. Song number one is 25 and the rest of them are an additional 10. Now, the other thing we have going on this summer is this artist development program, which for the week is 375 and it includes the first song to Mashville for free. Of course, you would deduct $25. Yes, please. I am enrolling in the artist development program. And that adds on to the total payment minus the $25 that was due. You can build in forms to your website that do a lot of different things. It's just a WordPress forms plugin. And there's a specific way to add in plugins, which I can, I can actually show you the artist development. You'll see a little bit about the instructors, links to their social media pages. And another cool thing here is we have last year's Mashville and we have songs. And the sound is really good. You can build in playlists. And as you scroll, you can listen to it. If we go back to the home page, so the pop-up is gonna come up again. And this is something that we're really proud of. This takes you to this online showcase, of course, with the coronavirus and COVID-19, all that. We weren't able to have an in-person show. We put all of the accepted submissions online. Our show was inspired by the artist Lights, her song Flux and Flow. So that's there. Again, more songs built in. See, what's neat is that I've got a lot of pages here with a lot of different things going on and it loaded just fine. I'm gonna stop that. And then we're gonna go down to the showcase. So there's music, all of these are original songs that were submitted and I was able to add in a Facebook comments plugin. So people using their Facebook profiles could just go to the page and add a specific comment about the songs, which is really good feedback, especially since we're not in person. So as you'll notice, the sound is really good, even though it's through my laptop. Poetry and assorted writings from people. more comments and then we have the art section which is really neat to look at while we're listening to the songs and you can put it at whatever volume you want of course view the different pieces look at all these talented artists and then i built in also a place to like the page and then share it directly so there's a lot of interaction here at the bottom, three different forms. If someone wanted to contact an artist, meaning a, one of the musicians, visual artists, or poets, there's an inquiry form to possibly inquire about purchasing an art piece or just a specific comment that someone wanted to pass along to the artist. There's also a place to review the showcase and then again to donate to students. Another confession, I love building forms. I can't tell you how much satisfaction I get from the functionality of just having working forms on the website. <sighs> I had a plugin called WordPress Forms. We'll do the Mashville songwriting competition form. I'll take a look at the back end, which is pretty complicated only because we're asking for a lot of different things within the form. There's a basic uh, form builder. We pay for a little bit more complex one, like for file uploads that was really important to us. 
and you just need to decide what's important to you if you want to have forms built into your website. And there are a lot of other things. You know, I didn't go over the pop-up builder. That's something to look at. Plugins, blog posts. We don't use that a lot on our site, but a lot of people do, so that'd be important. Media, this is where you can add in pictures and music and all different kinds of things that you want to put on your website to make it interactive. All of it is really customizable. Let's try the art gallery this time. So we go into the art gallery page and say I want to add a block. And this is the place where I go to blocks. Most of our category is music. You know, I might do photography for art or fashion design even. And I go to all types so I can build different blocks. I go to different ones and they're already formatted for you, already coded, which is kind of cool. And then you just add in your own content. The thing is that I really like about InMotion hosting and BoldGrid is that it translates beautifully to the phone. Sometimes it needs tweaks, so I always check the way that the website looks on the phone before finalizing it. But for the most part, it does a pretty good job. There are a lot of other things that I use, but those are the ones that I use most often. Our world is more and more turning to the online platform out of necessity, but also because of all of the ways that it can effectively capture the vibe of your business and inform potential customers. What I want to be able to do for you is not only help you to build a logical functioning website, although that is incredibly important, it has to have style and it has to have creativity and really speak to who you are. This is secondary, but I also manage the social media marketing for our school and your website has to flow seamlessly into the various social media platforms that your business uses. All of it has to have a similar vibe. What is your brand? What are your color choices? What's, what's your voice? All of that plays into the success ultimately of your business. It's getting a little late, so I'm going to go home to the family now, and uh, hopefully I will hear from some of you soon. Feel free to reach out. Again, it's a free consultation, and be on the lookout for a free workshop via Zoom sometime very, very soon. Take care. Bye for now.